Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, I'll show you how to take a photograph and turn it into a waterproof photograph coaster, which is completely lined with cork on the back. Another idea is to add a hook on the top and make this into a wall hanging. And really, you could do this with any photograph. Here's one of my cat. You could also do one with your kids or grandkids. The materials used in this project are, these are four by four white ceramic tiles. This is a cork backing that you can purchase at your local hardware store or craft store. These are the picture hangers. You can get this in the framing department of your local store. These are the photographs I'm going to use um, on these uh, tile coasters slash trivets slash wall decor. I use Mod Podge mat with a foam brush. I also have other materials from Mod Podge to help me glue down these materials. And I also use my hot glue gun and you can use scissors or a paper cutter. Additional materials you can use in this project include matte clear sealant spray. This provides a waterproof coverage for your coaster tile and it can be found in the spray paint section of your local home improvement store. Additionally, instead of using a hot glue gun, you can use industrial strength glue and this can be found in your local arts and crafts store and I do suggest using a well ventilated area and disposable gloves with that. I start out with my photos. I had these printed at my local drugstore. I photoshopped the photo down to 4x4, cropped it down to 4x4. I added my text on the side and then I also increased my canvas size so that it was a 4x6. And that way I was up, able to upload a 4x6 photo to my photo website and then they print it out and then all you have to do is cut it down to 4x4. So the goal here is to get your pictures down to 4x4 size. So the other option is to just print your picture 4x6 just normally and then go through and you'll just cut this down to 4x4 size with your paper cutter or scissors. This, this just makes it really easy 4x4 I get my paper cutter just right here and then Cut this down, and as you can see now we've got a lovely 4x4 four four, uh, picture ready to go. And I'll just continue to go through and cut these all down to 4x4 four four size. So. My next step is to put the photo down on my ceramic tile. Now before I get started, I do sand down the tiles on the side so there are no rough edges, and I do, I do clean these off uh, before I start this. Just you don't have to. The first few that I did, I did not do that, but that is fine. So I get my Mod Podge mat out and I'll just put one um, thin layer to medium layer down on my tile all the way just out to the edges. So it's okay if there's a little bit of extra out here. And then I'll place down my photo and then we smooth it out from the midpoint out and here's where I use some of my Mod Podge tools to get it down as flat as I can and then we'll let that dry for about 20 minutes. We are back. We have allowed our photograph to dry for about 20 minutes now and we're going to put on our first top coat. So just going for kind of a thin medium coat, even coat all over the photograph all the way to the edges. And no worries, you will see the lines but they will not be white like they are here. They will be completely clear and that's part of the magic of this Mod Podge here. So. We'll let this dry for another 20 minutes and we'll be right back. We've allowed our coaster trivet to dry completely and now we're just going to put on one last coat of Mod Podge over our entire picture and tile. And we just want to go for another thin, even coat all the way across, up and down our art here. And we'll let this dry completely. So this is the last coat of Mod Podge that I'm going to do and it will dry clear completely. In this step I've purchased a sheet of cork. You can purchase one at your local home improvement store or at your local craft store. 
and they come in big sheets like this and I'm cutting using my rotary cutter and mat to cut a four inch strip off and then I'm going to cut all my pieces four by four and this will create the backing for all of my coasters and you see how everything lined up four by four and that's it I've created my four by four uh, cork sheets we have allowed our tiles to dry overnight and as you can see the Mod Podge dried completely clear we are outdoors now because uh, earlier today I sprayed all of the tiles off with this matte clear spray. It, they are completely dry now and we are ready to move on to our next step. We are ready to glue together our project. Now I've decided to use an industrial strength uh, glue here if since I'm going to be hanging this on the wall. Now if you were just going to make this into a coaster you could just take your hot glue gun and then just hot glue this all together here. Uh, but I am going to use this industrial strength glue. So according to the manufacturer uh, of the glue, we're supposed to let this, we, we put the glue on, then we let it just sit around for two minutes and before moving on to our next step, which is putting everything together. So uh, see me just putting on the glue here and then in two minutes we'll put this together. I'm putting a little extra glue right here on the top. Where am I? hanger will go. Put a little glue on the hanger itself and then moving on putting glue on the back of my cork. And we will be back to put this all together in two minutes from now. Through the magic of video we are back. We've let our glue set here for two minutes and now we're ready to put this together. So I'm gonna first put on the wall hanger in its spot and then add my cork backing and I am working with gloves just as I don't want to get glue all over my fingers and there's a little bit of wiggle room right now so we're getting everything set up in the right spot and we want to get this as flat as possible too so I'm going to just take a newspaper and then my dictionary and we're going to let this completely dry in 24 hours